then sometimes I put little tabbies on, on my desk so that I know where my upper and lower limits are. I am going to walk through the sections of the textbook about stem cells that we're going to be covering in class and lecture on Wednesday. So start on page 702. This starts with tissue maintenance and renewal. Um, this sort of goes over some of the generalized um, ideas that there are differentiated cells and uh, a body is made up of lots of different specialized cell types. So, so I think it's really interesting, but it's not super critical information. Tissues are organized mixtures of many cell types. Here they actually go into some of the ways that the um, cells in a tissue are organized. It's not super relevant to what we're going to be talking about. They do talk about cell communication, selective cell adhesion, and cell memory as being um, important ways that, that cells maintain themselves in, um, in a tissue. Uh, you don't need to know these because we're not really going to cover them, but do note that the cell memory one is closely related to many of the topics we were discussing with respect to epigenetics, right? So the idea that a cell can remember um, what differentiated state it's in is something that we've already discussed, a stem cell. And this figure here, figure 2035, is just such a really nice sort of diagram of the idea that a stem cell can divide into a cell that remains like a stem cell, whereas um, the other daughter cell will go on to differentiate into, um, into a specialized cell type. So this is an important figure for you to pay attention to. Uh, okay, so stem cells generate a continuous supply of terminally differentiated cells. This is important information. And then what they do is they go into a couple examples, and that's what that is on the next page here. I don't need you to know what the difference is between a T lymphocyte and a B lymphocyte and a basophil, a neutrophil, etc. But you should know that there's one stem cell, it's called a hematopoietic stem cell. Here they say hemopoietic, it's the same as hematopoietic, it's two different words for the same thing one type of stem cell that gives rise to many different types of blood cells. So you should know that because we do go over that in class.